Hey guys, today I want to show you what's in my law school bag or what's in my law school bags because I have two bags. Oh, they're heavy. So if you're a law student, you know the struggle of having to bring an extra bag just for your books. The second bag is actually when I go to the law library. So I'm not only going to show you what I bring to law school, but I also want to show you week. I also want to show you what I bring to the law library. So. Two things before we start this video, very quick. Number one, I don't know why, but I always have a bad makeup day on the days that I want to film, so excuse my makeup. Number two, uh, it's been pouring, raining outside the entire day. It is super dark, it is very cloudy. It's been dark pretty much since the morning. Not a ray of sunshine <laughs> was seen today. Okay, let's start with what I bring with me in my bag to law school. First thing, and also probably the most important for me, is my MacBook. I do have the MacBook Air. I don't know which one actually. I think it's the older version. I don't know. I usually have this case on my MacBook that I, I... I wanted to show you the MacBook without the case because honestly, I don't like it. When I ordered it, I liked it and now I don't like it anymore. I think it is... <laughs> it's just not my style, you know? I don't want to spend the money on a new one at the moment because this one is still working. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. So I'm just gonna keep using it. Even though, even though I do not like it. I honestly want to have a case on my MacBook all the time because it is super expensive and I just don't want anything to happen with it. I also I have one of this is very dirty <laughs> sorry I, I didn't watch it I have one of these cases um, I bought this on Amazon years ago when I started law school it has like a very soft material on the inside and it is waterproof and I highly highly recommend getting a waterproof one because this has saved my MacBook multiple times <laughs> I bought my first ever MacBook when I started law school in 2017 um, I never had a MacBook before and I wanted to buy one because well, everyone had a MacBook in law school and was like, I want to have one too. I liked that it was so small and lightweight. Now there are way more other options, but back then I feel like the MacBook was... It was the prettiest one, okay? I bought it like a few months into law school was because I couldn't keep up with the writing, like with the speed the professors were talking and there was so much... There was so much to write and I just, I just always envied my friend who had a MacBook at the time and it was so easy for her. I actually had a little bit of drama with my MacBook. <laughs> If you want to watch it, it broke two years later and then I bought this MacBook. So, uh, yay! I actually had to purchase two MacBooks since I started law school. But, long story short, I, I love my MacBook. I love it so much. It is my essential. I do prefer typing. It is way faster. I can, you know, highlight things. I can delete things, write them new again. It's, it has way more structure and also with law school, I feel like I have all of my material on my MacBook so I can switch between what I'm typing. I have the material. It's just, it's just so practical. I literally use it every time I go to law school. I've never been to law school without my MacBook. Before I was buying my first MacBook, I was a little bit scared because I was so used to, you know, Microsoft and having normal stuff that everyone has and all of my computers at school always and my laptops always had like, you know, Windows. So I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like a MacBook. Um, but honestly, if you have an iPhone, especially if you have an iPhone, it makes your life just so much easier. <laughs> I have all of my files and my documents that I have from law school. I also have them on my phone and I can easily exchange things with AirDrop. I don't need a cable if you don't know what airdrop is you literally send everything from your phone like photos videos files to your macbook in one second without a cable and it's just so easy i have all of my notes on my macbook and on my phone and the notes app for me is like very important <laughs> and it, it, it's just so easy this is not an ad or anything um, i just really love it and i think around christmas a lot of stores have macbook sales so if you've been thinking about it i highly recommend it if if you do have a lot of stuff that you need to organize. I organize everything digital now that I have a MacBook. I used to be someone who had their, you know, a calendar and a planner and all. Is it the same thing? <laughs> like a planner, you know, where I write my to-do list and all of that stuff. Now I have my calendar and my to-do list and everything. I have it on my MacBook and at the same time on my phone. And I love it. It makes my life so much easier. Very boring, very short. I have my phone, obviously, with me. Who goes anywhere without their phone nowadays? I have the iPhone 11. Pro Max. <laughs> I have a whole unboxing from the two if you want to watch it. And um, yeah, I need my phone for everything. Um, I also have my, my subway ticket on my phone, so I, I really need my phone. I bring both chargers, like for my MacBook and my phone, because we have <laughs> things to charge, you know, 
whatever, um, in law school, especially when I have a long day and I go to the law library, I always need my charges with me. Also, very important... <laughs> Why do I talk like that? <laughs> also, very important, water bottle. This one is from Amazon. I have no idea what it is called, but this one is from Amazon and I need a water bottle with me. Oh, oh, by the way, because I didn't mention it, my bag. This bag here, by the way, it is fake. <laughs> it is a fake Louis Vuitton. I bought this bag years ago, years ago, and the reason I wanted to have it is because it is so big and so lightweight. Like, the bag itself doesn't have a lot of weight, and this is what I need for law school, because all of the other things are already so heavy. You know, some bags, they are heavy just being empty. So I love this bag. I always bring it for law school. It is pretty, it was very affordable, I am sorry. <laughs> Louis Vuitton, that is fake. I am not that rich that I do own a real Louis Vuitton. Honestly, I also don't want to own one because they're ridiculously expensive and I would never spend that kind of money uh, on a bag. Except I'm a millionaire, then my situation probably would change, but um, as for now, I'm not a millionaire and I would never spend that money on a real Louis Vuitton. Just wanted to mention it because no, I'm a student, I don't have money. <laughs> Saying that, I also have uh, with the bag a fake Louis Vuitton wallet. I have this kind of like uh, emergency bag. <laughs> I don't even know what's inside so we're gonna look together this is just everything that I want to have with me and if I switch bags like for example I don't take this bag for the gym I just take this entire thing put it in my gym bag and I don't need to you know have all of these small things flying around in my bag so oh yeah always have a pen with me you never know when you need a pen okay I also always have tissues with me pen tissues two things you always have to have in your bag is what my mom told me then I have uh, a little bag <laughs> for um, tampons Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that I have this in here. I have a power bank, just in case. I have some wipes for my glasses, because I do have glasses. I just don't always wear them. Now I have my contact lenses in, but I always like to have them. Also in summer, when you have sunglasses, you can just wipe them if they're dirty. I always have like some, some things for headache, because I, I tend to get headaches on the way, when I'm out and about sometimes. A mirror, I never use this in my entire life, but I... <laughs> <laughs> Do I have a mirror inside? Just in case. I have Tic Tacs, which I don't know, are they international? I think. Um, I do prefer them over chewing gum because uh, when you have chewing gum, you always need to spit it out again, and these you just swallow, so I do prefer them. They're easier to handle. I always have a scrunchy hair tie, whatever, with me. I usually have it here on my head, but because I think it's not so pretty, I took it off. But I always have it with me. What else do we have? I have sunglasses, even though there's no sun at the moment on most days, but I like to have them with me just in case. These are just some cheap ones from Shein. Yeah. I almost dropped them. I don't really like to bring makeup with me because I know I'm not reapplying anything, but I always have my chapstick with me. I don't consider this as makeup, but you know, I have my chapstick always with me. For the makeup part, what I like to bring with me is my eyebrow gel. <laughs> you know, what you can to brush up your eyebrows because I'm obsessed with my eyebrows and, <laughs> and they need to look good, okay? When my eyebrows don't look good, I feel like I don't look good. So this is the only thing I would reapply, you know, if they get kind of weird. This one is from Essence, it's called Make... <laughs> Sorry, I quickly had to open the door, there was an Amazon package arriving and oh my gosh, she was so nice, she was like, have a nice day, and I was like, thank you, and I wanted to say you too, but then I was like, so quick, and closed the door, and I was like, no, I didn't say you too. Now I feel bad, now I feel bad. Things like that bother me, because I was like, oh my gosh, how, how could I? No, no, like, it really bothers me. Why is my hair so weird? My eyebrow gel, which is called Make Me Brow from Essence. And the second makeup item I bring is the NYX lipstick. This is the one that I have on my lips. And pretty much always have on my lips, okay? I never have anything else on my lips, pretty much. It's the Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. <laughs> Hand sanitizer, very important, very important. And my headphones. I have these random, they are called Soundcore from Amazon, like wireless. They're white, they're very pretty. I don't do this all the time, but when I have a very long day or when I go to the law library, I like to bring a deodorant. This one is from Duff. And I also like to bring a perfume. This one is from Sarah. It's called Pink Flambe. Oh yeah, and I always like to have a brush with me. I barely ever brush my hair, to be completely honest. Uh, this is a tangled teaser, by the way, if you can tell. I barely ever brush my hair. 
but you know now in winter when you wear a beanie or something your hair can look weird so I don't know it is very small so it fits easily in my bag and I just like to bring it two more things before we move on to my book bag <laughs> I like to take a snack with me, like a protein bar or something, if I have a longer day. I also bring a mask because I go to law school in Vienna, I commute and in the public transportations you have to wear a mask. <laughs> and now for the book bag, I have like, I have like a random clear bag. What do we have? So the other things I'm gonna show you now, I only bring when I go to the law library because I don't bring any books with me when I go to law school because we usually only have a lecture and then I have everything I need on my MacBook. Very minimal stationary things. I always, I always have an extra pen and I have a, what is this called? <laughs> you know that you can, oh my god, erase? Erase? What is, what is this? I have no idea what this is called in English. Okay, wow. <laughs> I bring these two pens with me. I always have like these, I also don't know what these are called. Post-its? Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Post-its, I always bring post-its with me. And I always have some highlighters with me because you never know. And the last thing is, this is like a, also like a post-it sort of thing. <laughs> did, did, I just, did I just flip my hair and the sunglass fell down from my hair flip? One of my sunnies. You know you can see them when I'm filming. Here are my sunnies. <laughs> I have an obsession if you cannot tell. So most important, the law books. Um, this is where pretty much the law is inside. This is where I need my post-its. I don't have a lot of post-its in here yet. I still have to do that. These two are for criminal law because I am taking the criminal law exam in January and this is this is pretty much criminal law. <laughs> and then I usually bring a few other books. These are just free random books. Yeah. What I also like to bring with me is one of these college blogs um, because uh, when I'm taking criminal law, criminal law is a written exam. Like we have written and oral exams, so there are two very different preparation ways. But when I have a written exam, when I do old exams, I like to write them out with my hand to get used to the feeling of writing writing the exam. Just as an example, uh, this is <laughs> what my law books usually look like. Um, I think I showed them in a video last year. And then inside it's just usually a huge rainbow <laughs> with a lot of different colors. I think this is it. I have the feeling that I forgot something very important or that I bring more things with me. I have no idea. This is what's in my bag for law school and for the law library if you were curious I don't know. I don't know if people still film these videos But I thought I would do one because I don't know. I think they're fun to watch I hope you enjoyed it subscribe if you want to see more videos and give the video a like if you enjoyed it And other than that, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see my next video Bye